Make Through Fire episode number 27. And as always, this is the show where you, the audience, send me in pictures of cool things that you found on the internet, and then I do my best to recreate them. So today's challenge was sent in by both Cheese and Apple. Seriously, either that's a weird coincidence or I've now got sentient food subscribed to my YouTube channel. Anyway, a cheese and an apple wanted me to recreate this skirt, which I found on a couple of cheap wholesale sites from $13 to $30. So let's begin. Now I have this theory that this skirt was just a square circle skirt. Okay, that didn't really make any sense at all because how can you have a square circle? But stick with me. First off, I chose my fabric. This is a non-stretchy tartan fabric that I got for free. Well, it's secondhand. When people know that you're into sewing, it turns out there's a lot of people who have fabric that they don't need anymore stashed away in their basements. Now, I wanted the shortest part of my skirt to be approximately 15 inches long. So I cut out a square that was 40 by 40 inches. Then I simply folded this material in half, folded it in half again, so that I had this. Then I took my waist measurement, 30 inches, and I divided this by 6.28. This gave me approximately 4.7 inches. So I drew a quarter circle with a radius of 4.7 inches onto this corner of the fabric using some chalk. Then I cut this quarter circle out, cutting through all layers of fabric. I then unfolded the fabric and I have this. Then I tried the skirt on for size and for some reason this happened. Now I know my circle skirt maths are right, so at first I thought that this was all my fault, that it was due to the fact that I didn't put any pins in the fabric here and then cut out this circle pretty haphazardly. But wait guys, no, it's not my fault because then I actually read on this website that it's the fabric's fault due to something called bias, which is basically how your fabric stretches diagonally. And according to this website, Cutting on the bias will cause your fabric to stretch. So they actually recommend taking four inches off your waist measurement and then calculating your circle radius. So I should actually use a 26 inch waist measurement. Well, now I know that for the future. But unfortunately, I've already cut out my fabric in the past. But never fear, I haven't ruined my fabric because this is totally fixable. And let me show you how I fix it. So I cut straight up here, which I was intending to do anyway. And then I folded the raw edges over. until the circle circumference is about 30 inches, which is my waist measurement. So I put a mark on these two points, pin the extra pieces out of the way, and then I continued. At this point, I also hemmed the bottom of the skirt. First, I overlocked all the edges, then I folded the edges over about half an inch, and I sewed over the top using a straight stitch. Now I know that not everyone has an overlocker machine, so if you do wanna try out this project, then check out this video here, which gives you three different ways to hem a skirt. The next step is to cut out my waistband. I cut out a rectangular fabric that is four inches wide and my waist measurement, plus two to three inches long. Today I'm making a really simple cheats version of a waistband. With the wrong side of the waistband facing up, I fold it over in half lengthways. Now, the right side of the waistband is on the outside. Then, I simply sew using a straight stitch down this edge. Now to attach the waistband to the skirt, with the skirt right side up, I line the sewn edge of the waistband up with the raw edge of the waist. Then I sew the two pieces together like this. And I'm going to be sewing directly over the top of the stitches that I made when I constructed the waistband. I also make sure that I unfold these folded over edges that I made earlier to resize the skirt before sewing over the top of them. I then go over these stitches again with my overlocker to make it look neater on the inside, but again, this is not a necessary step if you don't own one of these. Then I unfold the waistband and this is what it looks like attached to the top of the skirt. Then I fold the skirt in half, right sides together, so that the two unsewn edges of the skirt line up. And now I'm going to insert my zipper. So I grab my zipper, which is about six inches long, line it up with the skirt with the waistband at the top. And now I'm going to sew basting stitches from here to here and normal length straight stitches with a back stitch from here to here. After sewing the skirt back together into a loop, I press the seam open. Then I lay my zipper down on top of the seam so that the teeth of the zipper match up exactly with the seam. And then I'm going to sew the zipper onto the skirt like this. It helps when you're inserting a zipper to use a zipper foot. But if you don't have one, then you can carefully use a normal sewing foot or even hand stitch it in. 
Lastly, I carefully cut through the basting stitches to remove them, setting the zipper free. And I'm done! So, how does it look? How did I go? Make this for yourself! If you already know how to make a circle skirt, this is even simpler. Because the most difficult thing I think about making a circle skirt is hemming that curved edge, and this doesn't even have curved edges. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!